Man, this pizza and this cake looks so good. I can't wait for the birthday party, Minty Megan. No, no thank you. I don't want any peppermint on my pizza. What do you mean? You can eat pizza and you can freshen your breath at the same time. I'm gonna make millions on that idea one day. Mm. Wait, don't eat yet. Don't you remember North Pole Nicole is supposed to join us for the birthday party? Wait, I have to wait in line at Walmart. I have to wait to use the bathroom when my brother's in there for forever. Oh, I have to wait to get up from the dinner table, which is so silly, by the way. Wait, wait, wait. Minty Megan, you sound very upset about waiting, but have you ever thought that maybe God has a reason for all this waiting? Yeah, I've never thought about it like that. Hmm, maybe. I should wait to eat the pizza, because if the mints sit on the pizza, it'll get more minty, and then when I eat it, I'll never have to brush my teeth again. No, Minty Megan, that's not right. But it does remind me of our stories that we've been talking about. We talked about how Mary heard the angel. We talked about how we saw the shepherds and the star. And today we're gonna hear about a, a couple of people, a man and a woman who were old, who waited years patiently for the coming of Jesus. Let me get this straight, Rap and Ryan. You're telling me that we have to wait years before we eat this food and have our birthday party? North Pole Nicole's taking forever. Okay, no, we don't have to wait years. Why don't we just, why don't we just listen to this story? Just, just be patient and believe. At the time Jesus was born, there was a man in Jerusalem named Simeon. Simeon had been eagerly waiting for the Messiah to come and rescue Israel and fulfill God's promise. The Holy Spirit revealed to him that he would not die until he had seen the Lord's Messiah. One day, the Spirit led him to the temple. On that very day, Mary and Joseph came to present baby Jesus. As the law required, Simeon saw the baby and believed immediately. He took the child in his arms and praised God, saying, Sovereign Lord, now let your servant die in peace, as you have promised. I have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for all people. He is a light to reveal God to the nations, and he is the glory of your people Israel. He praised God for his word being true. We can trust God and his word. Simeon blessed Mary and Joseph and reassured them that Jesus was destined to save us all. That same day, another woman was in the temple. Anna, like Simeon, was very old in age. She had been awaiting the birth of Jesus, the Messiah. When she laid eyes on Jesus, she believed he was the one who was promised and praised God for his faithfulness. She knew exactly what she needed to do. She ran as fast as she could to tell all of her friends and family that she had seen the Savior. When Mary and Joseph left the temple that day, they returned home to Nazareth. Jesus grew up to be healthy and strong. He was filled with wisdom and had God's favor and protection over him. <laughs> Minty Megan, did you get a peppermint in your eye or something? Oh. oh, they waited so long. Oh. Here, wipe, wipe your eyes. Okay. Oh. 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 Cheer up. North Pole Nicole should be here any time. Hey, Kat. Oh. Oh. Hi. I'm sorry. I'm so late. There was a snowstorm, and it made me lose track of time and I was trying to get through all the snow and I just it's couldn't okay. make it on time. North Mill Nicole, I'm so glad you're oh. here. And while we were waiting, we were hearing an amazing story about two people who believed in Jesus. Wait, was that Anna and Simeon? Yeah, they went to see Jesus, who is God's son. He's our promised savior who was sent to save us from our sins. Mm. Oh, that's so good. And they were old, weren't they? They were super oh, old. And they waited a long time, but they knew that God would keep his promise to them no matter how many years they had to wait. We can trust that God keeps his promises. 
pink wrapping Ryan. I bet you could wrap that really good. Well, if you ask like that, we can trust that God keeps his promises. What? We can trust that God keeps his promises. What? what? I think we can do it one more time and maybe everyone can join us in it. Yeah, let's do that. We can, we can trust, trust that, that God keeps, keeps his, his promises. promises. What? what? Mm. That was very good. Speaking of very good, our pizza's probably getting really cold. Do you think we should eat it now? I think, yeah. so. I think so. Hey, Minty Megan, can I have some of your peppermint? No one has ever asked me that. North Pole Nicole, of course. I love it's peppermint. It's so delicious. Are you sure you don't want some? I think I'm good. Okay. Oh, oh, wait. We forgot about the birthday cake. Uh, I forgot. I didn't bring any forks. Do you think we'll be okay? Well, we have fingers. We do have fingers. Mmm. Mm. Merry Christmas, Scott Hill kids. Oh, and remember whose birthday it is. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, Jesus! Jesus. <laughs> Simeon, wake up! Would you like me to knit you a sweater? 